All right, we're bringing up our next comedian, Cancer and Snails. You get it all here. Here we go. Our next comedian is... Our next comedian is a writer and director who's been a winner of multiple film and TV awards, including recognition for a commercial that I saw on TV and then found out it was him. A national ad campaign for Miller Beer. Please welcome Glenn Abbott. <laughs> I'm ready for the solar eclipse. <laughs> you guys aren't ready? I got some more of these for you. <laughs> okay, we love dogs, right? Everybody loves dogs. Yeah. Beautiful animals. <clears throat> well, I have a kind of a strange predicament with dogs. I love them. They love me, but, but on an unusual level. Um, I was crossing the park near my house. And there's a guy out there with his wife, and they're throwing the ball for this beautiful golden retriever. The dog's running back and forth. I'm just trotting across. And the dog runs over to me and drops the ball and looks at me. And I go, oh, it's so cute. Oh, my God, it's so sweet. And I, I look up, and the guy goes, hey, uh, who are you? And I go, well, what? I pick up the ball. Like, I'm your neighbor. And he goes, well, throw the ball. <laughs> throw the ball. And I start going across the, across the lawn. And uh, sure enough, the dog returns. And stops and looks at me. He's like golden retriever. He's like, he like loves me. And I'm like, oh geez, you know. And I look back at the guy, and the guy's like, you know, like I take the ball and I throw the ball and I like trot all the way across the lawn. I don't want to run into that guy again. He was pissed. So now I'm like at Petco. I'm walking across in front of Petco, and a guy's coming in with I don't know what got mastiff. It's like the biggest dog I've ever seen. I don't know what kind of dog it is. He's he's a, he's in the lead. He's walking with this dog, and the dog sees me. I see the dog. The dog stops. And the guy goes, <clears throat> he looks at the guy, he looks at me, he goes, who are you? <laughs> I go, I, I'm just a guy. I'm just, I don't know. I know you like, your, your dog likes me. I don't know why. So this is, this is, it's actually kind of cute that the dogs like me. It's okay. Until, until I was flying. I was going to, I was at LA, LAX. <clears throat> I'm at LAX, LAX and there's no place to sit. So I'm on the floor waiting at the gate. And the guy, the TSA guy, comes in with a bomb. I don't know if he's TSA, but he's dressed like he's dressed like military. He comes in with a bomb sniffing dog. It's a German Shepherd. And the dog's going around sniffing sniffing people's luggages. And I'm like, I'm fine, you know. But I don't want to get any eye contact with the dog because <laughs> got things with the dog. Uh, so I'm just, you know, got my iPod on, look over, and sure enough, ding, the dog sees me. I go, oh, geez, I got nothing to worry about. I got nothing in my, nothing in my luggage. I'm safe. I'm safe. And the guy sees, ah, oh, there, this dog loved the dog and that guy. And so he goes, go, Gunter, go, Gunter. So the dog comes over, and I think, oh, geez, I'm on the ground. The, the luggage is here. The dog doesn't go to the luggage. He comes straight to me, straight up to me. I'm like, what, what? And he puts his paw on one shoulder and the paw on the other, and he starts like this, just like that. And I'm like, God almighty. And I bust out in a sweat, and I'm, I'm screaming, Get him off! Get him off of me! And now the guy, the guy's with the dog, he goes, Gunther! Nine! Nine, Gunther! And I go, nine. I'm like having like some type of like ancestral flashback. Like my parents or my grandparents are being put in trains and taken to Auschwitz or something. I'm like, what? Gunther, nine, nine, and he pulls the dog off. And I'm like, I'm shaking, like, and I'm like, good God. I'm like, the guy goes, I'm so sorry, sir. And I'm like, yeah. And he goes, this dog is a trained dog. It's $100,000 to train a dog like this. this none, the, the dog has never done such a thing like this. And I'm like, it's fine. Just, just, just get him away from me. And I start packing up my bag. He goes, and I look at the dog, and the dog is over here. <laughs> look at it. And I, I'm like, forget it. Let me just get my stuff. And I go, and I sit somewhere else on the floor. Everybody in the terminal is looking at me. And I'm thinking, they're not laughing. They're like, this guy's a terrorist. And I'm like, oh, jeez, yeah. I'm shaking. I sit down. I find another place to sit down. Now another guy shows up. The two of them with the dog looking at me over there. I go, just don't even look. And sure enough, they talk. And then the other guy, the new guy, comes over to talk to me. He comes over. I'm like, and he goes, sir, uh, I'm really sorry this happens. He goes, it never happens. These dogs are specially trained. I, go, I heard that. And he goes, he goes I got I to gotta make a report. I go, well, you don't got to take my name or anything. Yes, I have to take your name and your address. My name and my address, yeah. So I, and he starts writing down this thing. I look over there, there's Gunter. Like that. You won't stop. I'm like, don't even. So the guy takes that. So 
Everyone's looking at the place. I get on the plane. Everything seems cool. Weeks go by. I open my mailbox. There's a letter from the security at LAX. I go, oh, no, this can't be good. And I open it up. Mr. Abbott, there's an incident with you and this dog, Gunter. <laughs> Jeez, it's like public knowledge now. She goes, this is an unusual event. This has never happened before. We didn't know what to do with Gunter. So Gunter has now been, um, he's been let go and he's up for, for uh, adoption. We want to know if you'd like to have Gunter as a pet. I'm like, jeez, no, thanks. I, I'm sure Gunther would like this, but I have no interest in keeping Gunther in my house. And keep your dog. It's incredible. But that's a dog. Dogs and me, they, I don't know what it is. They like me.